Yo, how we doing, friendos? Good to see you. Welcome to an afternoon stream. We've got a little bit of Starfield, about 45 minutes. Then we've got um, a sponsor stream with Dan. We're gonna be checking out a game, I think, called Synced. And uh, then after that, I have a meeting. And if the meeting ends early enough, I'm gonna jump back on for more Starfield, but we'll see. And we're gonna go from there. And then I should be back on this evening for more Starfield as well, if all things go as planned. Yep. Should Synced be sunk? I have no idea. We're gonna be checking that game out today and seeing how it is. Mm -mm. No me, no you. Let's just go on around. I do need to get more sneaky headshots. God, this place is so dapper. It's got bird sounds, yo. You know a place is dapper when it has fake bird ah, sounds. Ah, the dulcet tones of classical piano. Dracula. Taking this. Fine now. Piano's nice, too. Wait, I can just take your money? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Apparently, I missed a tweet. What? Oh. The life of rogue traders unpredictable and full of unexpected turns of events and sometimes even very long awaited news can come in a hurricane. Do you think this incredible art by Solange T could be a sign of something upcoming that remains to be seen? That says Sue. <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> Release date, please. <laughs> Give now. Where is it? There it is. Okay. We're good. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Great. Oh, I hope it's not soon. Oh, God. Your organization? You've heard of the first. I take it. I'm not just a member. I also help to fund the outfit through a network of independent ah. traders. Mm. Sorting. Of course, hey. illicit goods are the most lucrative, so there is a constant need for skilled pilots. I've got some questions about the first. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. This deputy might just surprise you, Marco. And who might you be? The name's Sam Coe. A name well known across the Freestar Collective. It's an honor to welcome a descendant of the great Solomon Co. Yeah, well, that name probably means more to you than it does to me. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future. Assuming we all keep our heads. You mentioned the Major. Is that who runs the first? That's right. Major Hall spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Freestar Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. Why would the Major want a confrontation? To settle accounts. Major Hall served with distinction during the Colony War. 
But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turn on him. In his eyes, the Rangers are enforcers for a corrupt council of governors. That makes you his enemy. As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. I prefer to focus on the future. I would have loved to have seen that. Do I care about the Apple presentation? It's live in 50 minutes. No. Nope. Are you going to be watching the Night City Wire on Thursday? Yep. Okay. I want details of the first operation, including who hired you. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who killed you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. Hmm. I think this is probably a noper situation. So anyways, I started blasting. <clears throat> I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know. But you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other Rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing this to protect innocent people. Whatever road brought you here, your journey ends today. Drum beat. There we go. Woo! Oh, what are you firing at? Nice play. Bye. Woo! Protect current user. This feels like old times. I hear a lot of boom pals out there. Ah, oh, Jeff. mess with Ko. That's right. Today's not going to be a good day, pal. Well, okay. Apparently you can mess with me because I'm never going to hit you, so there's that. I guess that is a considering factor. something blew up welcome i like how we did that though if you're looking for work you've heard of the first of course see listen 
questions. Uh, you did well. No, oh, I suppose. Given the nature, to be honest. Steve. This deputy much. And who might you be? The name's Sam. A name well known? It's an honor. Yeah, well, that name. Your deputy friend? Assuming we all. To settle account. Major Halster. In his eyes? As for me. Mm -hmm. That's right. A lot of good men. You've chosen yours. You got this, I got faith. Well, thanks, buddy. <laughs> you were on, Mike. I'm a businessman. I won't tell you. However, nope. I have a better idea. Sam Coe like Council that. of Government. To you. Whatever road brought. Back to the Wii U's. Oh, whoops. Damn, that was kind of cool. Got a lot of fun out there. Another enemy down. Shim Shim, I am not using it currently, but I definitely need to return to using it. That answers your question. You know you can turn off the alarm? What? Why would I ever want to turn this off? Sound gives me life, dude. Beep. 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 God, that's awesome. No. That's the kind of music I used to DJ. God, dude, the last rank of boost pack is amazing. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Do I have... I think I do. Uh, let's go to here.
What number letter did you reassign your healing to? Uh, mine's four. Yeah. I like having I like having three main weapons. I keep that one, two, three. And then four is my meds, five is amp. And then six, seven, eight, nine are powers. I'm gonna be getting more of those here pretty soon. We'll probably do some power farming uh, after we do the Freestar Collective, before we start Reunion. Oh wait. Me. Thank you very much. I appreciate your five gift bomb. Thank you, thank you. Is Code doing any smaller activities or just main factions? Oh, we are a hundred percent doing smaller activities as well. What I'm doing now is just kind of banging out um, UC and Freestar. Because then pretty much everything after that is going to be new for this playthrough. We've already done some minor stuff. But we'll continue to do a lot more as we go on. Adorable. Oh, man. That code dude voice acted for MechWarrior 5. That is hilarious that you know him from MechWarrior 5 and not Deus Ex, but he absolutely did. That's that's Elias to Fexus, and he did voice acting in MechWarrior 5. Mm -hmm. Mama Geek, my audio was too loud. It should be fine now. Yeah. I forgot to turn it down. I mean to turn it down a little bit more. I've been consistently putting my uh, audio lower each day, and I think I need to instead just fix the game, so I, I'm just not doing that. Good show. Rookie Granddad with the 10 sub bomb. Thanks, man. Welcome to the new folks from there. Appreciate you, Rookie. Thanks, man. Even scratch the paint. Uh -huh. Was there something you won't find a better? Boop. Very nice. And we have many boops here. I, this is a calibrated drum beat. I kind of want to hang on to this. Mm, I think I might. Show me the money, buddy. Oop. Are you designing a new ship later or is this it? Oh God, this is not my ship. No, oh God, no. Uh, I'm planning on doing a new ship for sure. Um, I unfortunately learned this playthrough, something I didn't realize in my last one. And that is that there's many ship components that are level locked. So I'm a little hesitant designing my ship right now. I'm probably going to wait until a little bit later, but I can get at least a, like a, a higher C-class reactor. But um, yeah, unfortunately, there is level locking that happens. So I can I can only get a very, uh, what I would call a Bobo reactor right now, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Very Bobo. You've already done a playthrough? I ha I've done two other playthroughs technically. Yeah. What level am I now? Uh, I am currently level 23. This is our new 100% base game run. So, yeah, all the ship components apparently are available at level 60, but I'm not going to wait that long to build my ship. You can always upgrade stuff, you know. There he is. Man, you're sitting back there in the dark, aren't you? Hey, what can I do for you? 
Okay, no problem. I don't think we've hit any big stuff yet, but just to check. Oh, oh. The big thing we're looking at is the uh, reactors. Stop it. Oh, I keep hitting I keep hitting E instead of T. T. There we go. Alright, so the biggest reactor we can get is the C. Oh wow, it's not even available here. Here's a C20. There's a C uh I think I want to say a oh, there's an A28. I could have sworn there was a C24 somewhere. Yeah, we need a we need a big C class, basically. And whatever we need is not here. Yep. So that sucks. Look for better engines? Oh god, there's better everything. I haven't even started that with this yet. Some reactors are available only at certain vendors. Yeah. Someone said buy the narwhal as a base and build from there. If we make enough money to do that, we might do that. Mm -hmm. hey, definitely. I don't even think we can afford the narwhal right now. Ah, we could afford a narwhal. But even then, we would need a, we would need the money for the narwhal and a lot of money to customize it. Which really we don't have yet. We'd probably need like uh, 700-ish K. Hey, which Just we're working towards. My way. We'll see. Have you done the Mantis quest line? I have. Elgus says I spent too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? Feels good to be out there making a difference. That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Got another slate. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. They do. What am I doing to make money? Uh, Pouties, I am primarily doing, just picking up every gun, armor, and helmet I can, and I store that on my ship and sell it. And I'm constantly doing combat missions here and there. Make sure to loot everything. You can also get money by scanning gas giants. It not only gets you money, but also gets you some good uh, experience as well. So all sorts of just kind of random things. All over Das Place. Already surveyed. We got another 10 or 15k to get from uh, Vladimir, most likely. Wait, where are you telling me to go? There we go. Have you done a bigger ship build? No, not yet. Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Thank you. Dr. Salvat, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake, and the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. 
Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. Okay. If Sarah left and I just noticed she's gone, does she come back? Uh, it depends on how she left. There, there are decisions and things you can do where people will basically just leave you forever. So there's that. Um, if you just like unassigned her from your ship, she might be back at the lodge. Um, if she's still part of your crew, you can open up your crew window and see where she is. So, you know, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Running this facility is a challenge, even when there isn't an outbreak of some sort. Welcome to the clinic. I'm Dr. Darvish, Chief of Medicine. Is there something I can do for you? I could use some medical supplies. Then I suggest you seek out one of the many other facilities available to walk-ins. I'm afraid we don't often deal with minor cases. Whoops. We have a particular focus on astrovirology here. So the patients we take on tend to have unusual cases that require long-term care, and sometimes require unorthodox or experimental treatments. We have an excellent track record that speaks for itself, but it doesn't leave room for much else. If you absolutely require medical supplies, speak to Dr. Salvato. We have very limited resources I would consider extra, and he would be the one to distribute them. Extra. Uh, let's see. I'd like to help with your research. Would you now? Well, I suppose we could always use additional research specimens. The more data we have about what's out there in the settled systems, the faster we can diagnose novel illnesses. In theory, at least. I suppose we could consider you an independent contractor of sorts. Our knowledge of toxins could always benefit from additional examples. If you can collect samples, we'll gladly take them. Okay. Um, let's see. I just realized that I need to... Ooh. There we go. Okay. Uh, where do I find them? What we're looking for are basic organic substances. They could come from any number of flora or fauna on countless worlds across the settled systems. Just keep your eyes open as you travel and harvest things when you find them. Or frankly, if you can find them at a reasonable price somewhere, purchase them. I'm less concerned with the source than the materials themselves. Okay. Thanks for delivering critical supplies. Would be nice to hear once in a while. Okay. Let's keep moving. Oh, well, can we talk no, to you about? There's no certainly no shortage of things to do around. Let's try this one. You're in charge here. I am. Yes. I took over from Dr. S. Waran when he retired nine years ago. While the clinic does occasionally hey, take James Bacon. Projects Thanks, buddy. that have their own chain of command. I am ultimately responsible for the entire facility. Yeah, so uh, CJ Chaos says Unity chose violence today. I don't know what happened with Unity, but I noticed that Twitter's kind of on fire about people like jokingly and actually some seriously seeming to move to Unreal. So I'm not sure what happened with Unity, but it doesn't seem great. Certainly. Goodbye. Need some work done? They're going to be charging 20 cents per install? What? I'm probably fine. It's okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, two cents in different brackets. Oh, God. Still, charging for installs is scary. You know, just by breathing the air in here, you are being exposed um, to about a dozen different viruses. Oh, man. Oof. And ew. Not exactly a hot Thank you. Of I'll have to look into that later. Here, is it? Well, that suits me fine. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? You know, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Hmm. Yeah, I saw I saw Rami, um, friend of the channel. He said on stream that 
It looks like now for future Unity devs, if a community wants to troll them or get back at them, instead of Metacritic review bombing, they can just, <laughs> like, install their game a bunch of times. <laughs> just have everyone, like, auto-install their game hundreds of times. <laughs> and just charge the dev actual huge amounts of money. <laughs> Fire up, like, you know... 700 virtual machines and just auto install it on all crumble. of them oh my god dude like it's crazy to think how they're going to actually manage that and track it and that's oh it's it's horrible to think about i it's just wild it's just wild got something on your mind do you um okay let's uh then you know i'm tracking down members of the first and having some success by the sound of it Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. How you doing, old man? Well, I'll be a Dust Wrangler's cousin, Sam Coe. Oh, it's been too damn long. Why, Cora must be, what, nine, ten years old by now? <laughs> I wish. She's twelve. <sighs> Almost a teenager? My goodness. And here I thought I had enough gray hairs already. So, are you back? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. I'm just out here to watch the deputies back and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I see. Well, back to the matter at hand, then. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Mm -mm. Uh, she had some kind of urgent medical issue, so I'm confident she's here. Well, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Great. Just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm Gotta get the thumbnail, hold on. Glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge. Okay. And she's also on the council of government. And I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard or hey, Abby. hardly I'll working? I'll give you 50 credits if you go ask the guards what's going on back there. Hey, Chief. Really? A little more Again, the former than the latter. You what brings you back? Tell me you don't want to well, the deputy here could no, use some help. I don't want anything to Came looking to do for with someone it. who might be a patient. Clear that it's none of our business. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Well, I'll leave so you and Mr. You Miller's capable. You don't want to hear about my plan to incapacitate else? the guards and mom. storm the place. I'm going to keep working through this, but for the people that are talking about it in chat, thank you, Scarlet Don. There's there's the information you on You know, that. there are more couriers coming and going from this place than patients. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. What's causing them? The patient records database is acting up. Access is a lot slower than normal, and I have no idea why. I'll look into it later. For now, let's focus on your investigation. Interesting, the person I'm tracking is a computer expert. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Former soldier named Maya Cruz. Uh, mm, let's go with a ruthless mercenary named Maya Cruz. You know what? Let's go with her name is Maya Cruz. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Yeah, let's stay neutral. Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? A little bit. It was a medical emergency that required long-term care. That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates, come on. You 
catch my Ben nodding off. Give him a good snack for me. The man means well, but he's just so tired these days. Okay, give me just a minute here. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. There must be someone who fits her description at least partially. Yeah. Let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace, what's her last name? Doolin, Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman, I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. If I can find the source of computer issues, that might lead me to Maya. You're welcome to use the ranger station terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. Okay. And we will do this this evening. Cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to take a few minutes AFK. Uh, I'm going to use the bathroom, get a drink. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to start. We're going to do the tutorial of this game I'm going to be playing uh, with Dan at um, 1. And we're going to check that out and go from there. It should be fun. So I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to leave you here for just a few. And uh, I'll be back. We're going to go for more. Back in a second. Mods, you know what to do.